harassment of French teen for her anti-Muslim video leads to six convictions. On May 26th, six people were convicted for harassment due to their threats directed towards a French teenager known as Mila because of videos she made speaking against Islam. The sentencing ranges from three to four months sus suspended prison terms and house arrest. The ages of the convicted range from 19 to 39. They were each ordered to pay 3,000 euros in damages to Mila. The attacks started in 2020 after Mila did a live broadcast on her Instagram speaking about her sexuality. During this stream, she was insulted by a Muslim commenter using homophobic slurs and invoked Allah to condemn her. Mila replied by stating that she hated religion and that the Quran was full of hate. The threats were so prevalent that she needed to accept police protection and change schools. In 2021, law enforcement arrested five people for making death threats to Mila. 13 more were accused, with 11 of them being convicted the same year. So this means that oh, in total, this case has resulted in 17 convictions. Wait, what country is this again? France. Damn. I wish I was in France. I would be rich if I could make 3,000 euros from every person that abused me. <laughs> that, 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 right? <laughs> I would, I could retire right now. Jesus Christ. Like if I, I should have collected every single threat that I have gotten, but I mean, they're not from, I mean, even if I was in France, the threats are not from France. So that wouldn't work out. Oh my God. This is amazing. Um, this, by the way, this this happened a while back. Like the reason why we're two years reporting ago. on the two years ago. The reason why we're reporting on this right now is because the sentencing, right? Mm -hmm. So what else? Like, so they have to pay three thousand euros. Anything else? Or do they get any? Um, do they some go of to them jail? got um, either suspended prison terms, you know, for time already served or, um, were put on house arrest. Like numerous ones of them have to wear like ankle monitoring, um, to, you know, so the government can freaking track their location. Um, and, uh, they also have to pay damages. Look at her, look at her satisfaction. Is she, this coming out of the court? Look at her smile. She's, she looks very satisfied with the result. It must be very painful for these people to pay this because they like because they hated her so much that they said those vile words to her, right? But now they have to pay her, right? <laughs> so they're like, they have it's not just like they're paying a fine to the government. They literally have to pay the person that they are. I so, know they have to pay her. Oh my god, it's so they, juicy. They must be so disgusted by the fact that the money is going to her. How many? How many? How many people are paying her three uh, three thousand euros? So in this most recent round of convictions, it was six. Now previously there had all in last year there had been eleven convictions for like the harassment oh. and threats against her. I don't know if those <laughs> previous ones from last year also included damages. I, w I, I bet you she's thinking like, damn, I wish more people, <laughs> I wish there were more of you. <laughs> like, come on, I come don't know me. because no, yeah, um, I mean, I mean, obviously she's, obviously it's not fun to be living in the same country where people who literally want to like do certain things to you that I don't want to say on the stream, but yeah. Remove your head from your body. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yeah well i don't know because like she's had to move multiple times she's had to switch schools multiple times like yeah that yeah, amount of money probably doesn't even scratch the surface of the amount of expense that has gone into just protecting her safety over the past two years not to mention attorney's fees mm. well I'm, I mean, yeah i'm sure that covered they cover that does it cover it? anyway it was forever storm we'll cover it. yeah you're right I mean, it's France. Don't they cover everything? In what? <laughs> they, the France cover, the government covers everything. They cover, the government covers, like, when you get pregnant, they cover, like, a nanny for, like, I don't know what they cover. I, I, I don't know how much of it is real or not, but the government <laughs> covers so many things for you. But anyways, what is this? Um, so, Forever yeah. Stormy is saying, if Armin wants cash, he should go to Silicon Valley and rile up the Hindutvas over there. They are usually in the upper income bracket. Armin can retire a rich man. <laughs> hey, don't give me ideas. Uh, here's another comment. 
<laughs> D is calling it the Islamophobe Fund. Yeah, Islamophobe. Yeah, don't have it as well. All right. Um, very well, gratifying. I think it's very yeah. gratifying to see like someone who faced so much like danger and stress and frankly trauma over like being a public critic critic of Islam, like to have the government, yes. you know, secure this for them. Yeah. I I, I love I love to see it. I love to see it. I'm like, yeah. yes, protect her rights. Yes, say it's unacceptable for you to do this to a child. Like, <laughs> I think it's easy for us to praise her. And because even after the first firestorm, she came out again a second time harder, um, particularly specifically against Islam. But I think one thing that gets lost when we talk about the story is that she was 16 when this happened. And then the remainder of her adolescence was caught up in this. Like, I've had to deal with a, a lot of abuse since, you know, starting to do what I do here. Um, and I would, if I had to go through that when I was 16, I wouldn't be here mm. at all. So I think, like, people need to remember that she was, like, a child when she, she was being abused in this way. It's crazy. And she can never get that back. And like, that's going to impact her for the rest of her life. Because I know the way that what I've gone through has impacted me. Mm. Like I treat people differently. Like I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't trust people the same way, you know? Hmm. And I've gone through a fraction of what she's gone through as an adult. I don't know. I have a lot of sympathy for her. That's a good point. Um, um, we here. Read this one. Doorknob had to say on the plus size. I bet she's developed into one <laughs> bad arse biatch warrior queen. Cup half full. <laughs> yeah, good thing. Um, and then this one. <laughs> Nihilist Antinatalist is calling the damages funds reverse jizya. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest. This is the funniest comment. When Thought Skeptic is saying, 16? Not a child. Don't you know she's been an adult for seven years? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, but this is also a good one. He exposed. Oh, wait, wait. Before we actually read this one, so people might not know, that was a reference to Aisha being an adult by age nine. So people... Yeah, I don't understand what this comment is right in reference to. Okay, Higgs was saying that well, I said in France they cover everything, right? And Higgs was saying <laughs> they cover ex everything except <laughs> except head with hijab. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, and here's another Higgs boson That's comment. hilarious. <laughs> Arm is oh, like oh money from blasphemy. I mean, no, I highlight, I highlighted this one to promote our Patreon because, like, this is like we have or we are already making money from blasphemy, guys. We have very, very beautiful blasphemous art, which is the nude version of them are only available on our Patreon. We make new ones every week, so and a lot of them, and you guys don't know about them because YouTube doesn't even let us post the censored version of it on our community tab anymore. So you guys, we have so much good art. You have to see them and they're so juicy and they're so sexy and they're very, very more than sexy. They're blasphemous. Okay. If you want to see all of that, make sure you become a patron link in the description. I should have turned on more lights. It's dark here. Should I go turn on more lights? I think you look okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> Secular rarity is saying great points, Susanna. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.